Ada yang kita lepas Ada yang kita simpan Ku menuju ke depan Menuju dengan lekas Bertenang Kalau ku disuruh Pasti datang Sang saka biru Kami akan menang Mana boleh berserah yeah. Mana boleh mengalah oh. Mana boleh berserah Yeah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Thank you for watching this video For your information This presentation explains about the Organization and management of PDRM FC facility Before that I will introduce the group members Involved in making this video a success My name is Muhammad Sadiq bin Nazir Rosham and my friends involved in completing this project are Muhammad Fahmi bin Kamarul Zaman, Muhammad Azhar Hafizah bin Yahya and Muhammad Haikal Hijaz bin Muhammad Isa. We are from the Bachelor's Degree Program in Sports Management SR241, Faculty of Sports Science and Regulation UITM. Introduction PDRM FC is a professional football club based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The club is part of the Malaysian Football League system and is made up of players from the Royal Malaysia Police. The team was founded in 2003 and has since become a prominent force in Malaysian football. PDRM FC has a dedicated fan base and plays its home games at the Kuala Lumpur Football Stadium. The team's colours are blue and white in honour of the Royal Malaysia Police. The team was created to provide an opportunity for police officers who were passionate about football to continue playing the sport at a competitive level. The club started off in the third division of the Malaysian Football League and worked its way up to the top division. PDRM FC has since become a respected team in Malaysian football and has won several titles including the Malaysian Premier League and the Malaysian Cup. History of PDRM FC PDRM FC began its journey in the Malaysian Football League system with a strong performance in its debut season in 2004. The team finished second in the third division and was promoted to the second division. PDRM FC continued to perform well in the second division and was promoted to the first division in 2006. The team's first season in the first division was a challenging one, but the players preserved and managed to avoid relegation. PDRM FC continued to improve each season and finally achieved promotion to the Malaysian Super League in 2010. PDRM FC's first season in the Malaysian Super League was a memorable one. The team finished in a respectable fourth place and qualified for the AFC Cup, which is the second tire club competition in Asia. The team's success continued in the following seasons and PDRM FC won the Malaysian Premier League in 2014. PDRM FC has come a long way since its establishment in 2003. The team has faced challenges but has preserved to become a prominent force in Malaysian football. PDRM FC's success has been a source of pride for its fans and the Royal Malaysian Police. Types of facilities offered and price listing The facilities offered and the price listing of a football club can be very greatly depending on the specific club, its location and its resources. Here are some common facilities that PDRM FC may offer. Number 1. Training Grounds PDRM FC typically have dedicated training facilities with multiple pitches or fields where players can practice and prepare for matches located inside the pool up hall. Number 2. Stadium PDRM FC have their own stadiums or have agreements to use specific stadium for their home matches which is Stadium Calif Estoras Kuala Lumpur. The stadium have seating for spectators and various amenities such as dressing rooms, media facilities and concession stands. Third, gym and fitness facilities. PDRM FC provide fitness centers and gyms equipment with exercise machines, weights and other training equipment. These facilities are used by players to maintain their physical fitness. Fourth, medical and rehabilitation facilities. PDRM FC have medical and rehabilitation facilities to provide healthcare services to players. This can include physiotherapy rooms, 
sports medicine clinics and treatment areas. Oh, ini Encik Sarul eh? Ya. Encik Sarul sebagai apa dekat uh, sini? Uh, fisio. Bagian fisioterapi? Ya. Oh, okay. Okay, so fisioterapi dia, uh, tugasan dia kat sini buat macam mana? Terlihat player injury dengan recovery player juga lah. Kadang-kadang ada juga yang botol-botol itu buat treatment pun kita lakukannya kecuali tak clash masa dengan player lah. Itu. Jadi, kita ada shortwave. Okay. Uh, kombi, sudah so kombinasi antara sound dengan tens juga lah, tapi dia pakai 2-in-1. Lepas tu yang tu, uh, atas sound. Atas sound. Uh, boleh terangkan tak apa fungsi ketiga-tiga mesin? Untuk recovery dan juga untuk repair injury tissue lah dalam masa tu. Kerana masa fiber semua tu boleh percepatkan. Tapi antara tiga ni, saya recommend that show game. Memang hmm. untuk ligament dia memang cepat untuk recovery lah. Hmm. Tapi dia pun tak boleh sebarang juga dia kena pergi tower step dan semua ni lah. Fifth Clubhouse. PDRM FC have clubhouse that serves as hub for administrative activities, meetings and social events. It may include office, meeting rooms, lounges and dining areas. Youth Academy. PDRM FC have youth academies to nurture young talents. These academies typically have their own training facilities and coaching staff to develop young players. Seventh, vehicle facility. PDRM FC use bus as a vehicle to transport players, coaches and staff to and from games practices and other football related events. These buses are typically large and spacious with comfortable seating for passengers and plenty of storage space for equipment and other belongings. Management concept and application. Management approach. First strategic planning. PDRM FC often develop long-term strategic plans that outline their visions, goals and objectives. And then financial management. This involves budgeting, revenue, generation, expense control, and ensuring financial stability. Clubs may explore various revenue streams such as uh, ticket sales, sponsorships, deal, sponsorship deals, merchandise sales, broadcasting rights, and player transfers. And third, player recruitment and development. They identify talent, negotiate player contracts, and oversee their development within the club. The focus is often placed on building a strong youth academy and implementing a player development pathway. Fourth, coaching and performance analysis. Performance analysis plays a significant role, utilizing data and technology to evaluate team and individual performance, identify areas for improvements, and make informed decisions. Fifth, fan and community engagement. This can involve initiatives such as fan events, community outreach programs, charity partnerships and communication through social media and other channels. Six, stakeholder management. Football clubs have various stakeholders including owners, sponsors, players, staff, fans and governing bodies. And the last one is governance and compliance. Clubs must adhere to relevant law regulation and sporting governance guidelines. This includes financial transparency, fair play regulations, player registration rules, and maintaining ethical standards. Organizational structure. First one is board of directors or ownership. The club is typically overseen by a board of directors of or, ownership of or an ownership group that provides strategic direction set policies and makes major decisions regarding the club's operations. Second, Chief Executive Officer, CEO or General Manager. The CEO or General Manager is responsible for the overall management and administration of the club. <coughs> Third, Sporting Director or Director of Football. The sporting director or director of football is responsible for player recruitment, transfer and the overall sporting strategy of the club. Fourth, coaching staff. This includes the head coach, assistant coaches and specialized coach for various aspects of the game. Example, goalkeeping coach and fitness coach. Fifth, a medical team. The medical team consists of doctors, physiotherapists, sports scientists and other, speci- other specialists who manage player injuries, rehabilitation and physical conditioning. 
they ensure the player's health and well-being. The last one is operation. The operations department handles various logistical aspects of the club, including travel arrangement, mesh organization, stadium management, storekeeper, and facility maintenance. The department responsible for sports facilities operation. One, facility maintenance. They are responsible for the day-to-day -day maintenance and upkeep of the sports facilities. Second, event management. The department coordinates and manages all aspects of hosting matches, training sessions, and other events at the facilities. Third, safety and security. They ensure the safety and security of the sports facilities by implementing and maintaining appropriate safety protocols, emergency procedures, and crowd management strategies. Fourth is groundskeeping. The department oversees the maintenance of the playing surfaces including pitch preparation, mowing, irrigation, fertilization, pest control, and line making. Fifth, facility improvements they identify and implement necessary improvements and upgrades to the sports facilities based on the club requirements safety standards and technological advancements six vendor management the department may manage relationships with external vendors and service providers such as cleaning companies maintenance contractors and security firms Seventh, uh, the last one, budgeting and resource management. They are responsible for managing the department's budget, including expenses related to maintenance, repairs, and facility improvements. They allocate resources effectively and optimize operational costs. Standard Operation Procedure of Sports Facility Operational and Working Hours of PDRMFC office or admin they are opened daily except public holiday from 8 30 to 5 and then facility of pdrm fc open daily except public holiday from 9 to 5 and the last one sport facilities they are open daily except public holiday from 8 to 5 during the during the opening of every facility um, first one, identify the tasks that need to be complete, such as setting up the physical space, hiring staff, ordering equipment and supplies, and then break down each task into smaller, manageable steps. Then document each step of the process in detail, including what needs to be done, who is responsible for doing it, and when it needs to be complete and then include any safety guidelines or procedures that need to be followed and develop a timeline for completing each task and assign responsibility to specific individuals and next ensure that all necessary permits and license are obtained and then conduct safety inspection of the facility before opening to the public then train staff on safety procedures, emergency protocols, and customer service. The last one, develop a maintenance schedule for the facility and equipment. During the closing of the every facility, first establish a closing time and communicate to staff and customers. And then assign staff to specific tasks such as cleaning, securing equipment, and closing down system. Then notify customers that the facility is closing and ask them to finish their activities and leave. And then secure all equipment and supplies including locking up any storage areas or cabinets. And then conduct a final safety inspection 
of the facility to ensure that all hazards have been addressed and all systems are shut down. Then turn off all lights, close all doors and windows, and set any alarm or security system. And then complete any necessary paperwork such as inventory counts or cash register reports. Then ensure that all staff have left the facility and that the facility is completely secure. And then document any issues or incidents that occurred during the closing process. The last one is regularly leave, review and update the the SOP to ensure that it's that it remains current and effective. Operating budget. Now I'm gonna share with you guys uh, about the operating budget of the Pidare MC. They are yearly or annually budget, itemized budget for operation. So as we know that since 2021, PDRM, PDRM FC is officially sponsored by Red One, which is a telecommunications company. So as we know, budget is, is something uh, important for the football club. Okay. This sponsorship includes the sponsorship of sports equipment, sports clothing, facility management, and the most importantly, the money salary of the PRM FC players. To maintain a facility on a good condition is quite costly. So as explained by PRM FC, football field is their main facility it it, con it cost consumes as uh, as much about 6000 ringgit per month just to make sure the grass is in a good condition sometimes uh, this 6000 ringgit including they remake the line eh, the feather line because of the bad weather sometimes so uh, at the same time uh, when PDRM FC they receive a budget and yearly budget by the sponsor, uh, they will buy uh, training equipment such a such a uh, speed ladder, cons marker, agility hurdle. So here are uh, uh, here are the pictures and the table that you can see the the things or equipments that PDRM FC buy when they receive a budget this is uh, the thing that we must know how the budget is prepared how PDRM FC they prepare the budget and how they manage their budget okay every year PDRM FC they will receive a budget of the amount that's set by the sponsor so uh, for sure PDRM FC management is responsible to manage the budget uh, this uh, including facility management, player needs, tournaments, and so on. So the the budget is planned regularly so so that the annual programs run smoothly. Okay, dapat maklumat daripada pihak Pidang FC. Okay, padang yang digunakan oleh Pidang FC ni kos penyelenggaraan bulanan dia adalah sebanyak enam ribu merangkumi. Uh, penjagaan rumput uh, pasir dia kan tanah-tanah dia uh, dan juga pem, apa, uh, pembuatan lain dia lain untuk lain padang tu uh, jadi sebulan sebanyak 6,000 kos bulanan yang ditanggung untuk menjaga padang ni supaya cantik kemas ok di sini uh, kita tunjukkan Facility eh, Padang bola yang digunakan oleh Pidara MC untuk uh, Menjalani latihan ataupun uh, Perlawanan bersahabatan Ok jadi kalau kita dapat lihat Dekat sini ada 4 spotlight tinggi ya, Yang digunakan Oleh padang Pidara MC Spotlight spotlight yang 4 spotlight ini Dicipta dipasang Dibina pada tahun 1978 
Jadi akhir khidmat dia adalah pada tahun 2009 Jadi tempoh masa yang agak lama Tempoh khidmatan yang lama Jadi sekarang ni uh, spotlight ni tak dapat digunakan lagi Okay uh, Saya dapat maklumat katanya Kalau nak repair tu, nak baiki tu Perlu buka kan? Perlu Gali balik uh, kabel-kabel yang kat bawah rumput ni Jadi memakan kos yang agak besar Jadi kini Dia diganti dengan spotlight Ha, ada empat spotlight ni ha, Ada empat spotlight Satu, dua, tiga, empat Spotlight baru yang rendah ha, jadi, Dan agak terang pada waktu malam Jadi bagi mat, ha, penggunaan kos yang lebih rendah yeah. Facility Operation and System Type of system operated and maintained by the organization Overall, almost 80% of PDRM FC staff and players are police officers Uh, maintenance approach as explained by PDRM FC management they need to make an application to the facility management department of the Kuala Lumpur Police Training Center to get maintenance service and need to follow the queue why? because the the the, the place that they're using is they share with other residents I mean the Pulau Pulau Kuala Lumpur Residents, not only Pilaran FC Maintenance by type of facilities For example, the football field is the main facility used by Pilaran FC So the grass should always be well taken care of so as not to get wet Facility management is responsible for ensuring that the grass is well maintained As much as 6,000 Malaysia Ringgit is paid by Pilaran FC to maintain Pilaran FCs Grass, uh, field. This includes mowing and fertilizing grass and making faded field lines. Activity and event management. Type of activity and event. Because Pidara MFC is based at the Kuala Lumpur Police Police Training Center, the sports facilities, especially the football field, are shared between Pidara MFC and the residents of the Kuala Lumpur Police Training Center, especially the police trainers. Or I mean all the recruit. Recruit also have their own calendar where they will undergo combat training using M16 firearms in the football field used by Pirarim FC. Not to forget the annual national events such as the National Sport Days where Pirarim FC players are also involved to enliven the atmos atmosphere. Therefore, this Pirarim FC sport facility is never quiet without activities and events. List of daily activities and event held. First, uh, the, uh, we have PDRM FC football training, morning exercise for police recruit, combat weapon M16, archery, physical test, national sports day event, family match and log exercise. Human resource plan. Hello, I'm uh, Fami. I'm going to uh, present to you about a uh, human resource plan, basic planning. Basic planning for uh, PDRM, we have, we have two planning. First, sh the short term planning of PDRM FC team in terms of provision of sport equipment by studying and researching from a sport science point of view the need of effective training equipment for player so that player learn activity effective training technique and skill correctly. In addition, I can help team coach facilitate facilitate and plan training for players. Pidana FC will continue to strive to develop complete management facilities and infrastructure. In addition, they want to change the grass of the training ground with the best grass now. For the long term planning, the management of Pidana FC wants to make the training center for their players of ASEAN standard with the latest technology of two for the comfort of the player and coaches to train well and be able to rise the standard of their game. Next, they plan to establish more soft tickets clubhouse for their players and staff. Second, I present to you about staff rotation for the maintenance department. We have a chief operating officer, Muhammad Shukri bin Ismail, team coordinator, Muhammad Taufik bin Muhammad Abdul Basit, facilities admin and maintenance. Tenis, Nazirul Effendi bin Muhammad Noor, Assistant Maintenance 1 Muhammad Abiru bin Abbas dan Assistant Maintenance 2 Muhammad Afif Jazimin bin Harun 
you have to secure for the location store the location of store inside the pola pol police training center next to next to the PRFC football field building store storage area for training equipment occupational health and safety implementation why the implementation is important first employee safety sport facility have various staff members such as maintenance workers coach training nurse and administrative personnel second risk reeducation sport facility come with integrated risk such as contact sport potential hazard associated with equipment and the possibility of accident due to large crowd third implementing health and safety measure helps identify and mitigate this risk reducing the likelihood of accident injury or other accident for a sport facility that provides conventional health and safety demonstrate its committed commitment to the well-being of stakeholder this in case is reputation builds trust among employees athletes and spectators and attracts positive attention from the community Five continuous improvement, documentation, health and safety employment involve monitoring and evaluating existing measures in the defining area for improvement and planning creative action. Type and example of implementation. First, PDRM FC Valesty develop and implement a written hazard communication program that includes training workers of on the hazard associated with chemical use in the facilities. Second, PRMC facility develop employment and emergency action plan that includes reduce procedure for responding to emergency such a fire, servant, water and other hazard. Three, the PRMC facility keep accurate record of work related, work related injury and illness and to report serious injuries and illness to OSHA. Four, RFC facility implement electrical safety produce to protect workers from electrical hazards such as electrocution etro and shock. 5. The facility development and deployment a fire safety plan that include procedure for preventing fire and responding to fire if the occur. 6. RFC facility provide educate first aid supplies and to have trained personnel available to provide first aid and medical service in case of injury or illness. 7. PDR FC facility provide workers with training and education on safety procedures and as associated with their job duties. Next, risk management and emergency preparedness. First, risk assessment is conduct regular, regular risk assessment to identify potential hazard and develop strategy to immigrate them. Emergency response team is established an emergency response team and provide them with training and resource to respond quickly and effectively in case of an emergency. Second, emergency communication plan are developed an emergency communication plan to ensure that all staff, player and visitors are aware, aware of emergency producer procedure and can be quickly notified in case of emergency. Third, evacuation plan is developed an evacuation plan that includes procedure for evacuating the facility in case of a fire, natural disaster or other emergency. Employment Implement fire safety measures such as smoke detector, fire escalator, and sparkler speaker system to reduce out the risk of fire. For server water preparedness, if develop a server weather awareness plan that includes procedure for staffing in place, in waiting and communicating with staff, player and visitor. Next, security measure is deployment security measures such as access control system, surveillance cameras and security personnel to reduce the risk of thief, vandalism and other security threats. Next, medical emergency preparedness also develop a medical emergency preparedness plan that includes procedure for responding to injury and illness, providing first aid and medical care and communicating with emergency medical service. Next, crisis crisis management plan is developed a crisis management plan that includes procedure for responding 
the crisis just as natural disaster terrorist attack and other emergency. Next, I will present to you legal issue in PDRM FC. First, liberty of injuries. PDRM FC may be held liable for injuries sustained by player staff and visitor on, prim- on the premise. This could include injuries sustained during games and or practice as well as injury sustained in other area of the facility. Second, proper damage. PRFC may be held liable, liable for damage to pro- property caused by player, staff or visitor on the premise. This could include damage for the, to the facility itself as well as damage to other property located on the premise. Third, employment law, PRFC may be subject to employment law related to hiring, firing and managing staff. This could include law related to discrimi- discrimination, harassment and for contract disputes. PRFC may be become involved in contract disputes related to the agreement with player coaches or other parties this could include dispute related to branch of contract non-payment and other issue 5. Related property PDRMC may, may need to protect related property such as trademark, logo and other branding materials they may also need to defend against claim of imminent if reimagement by other parties 6. Zoning and land issue Use. PRFC may need to comply with zoning and land use regulation in order to operate the facility. This could include obtain permits, complying with building codes and meeting requirements. 7. Alcohol and drug laws 8. Privacy laws Laws PRFC may, may need to comply with privacy law related to the collection and use of personal information such as player and staff record. 9. Recrimination and harassment. PDRMC may need to comply with law related to discrimination and harassment include those related to race, gender and other protect categories. And lastly, negligence. PDRMC may be held liable for negligence if they fail to take responsible steps to prevent injuries or other harm to players, staff or visitor on the premise. Arising Issues and Management Problems Arising Issue and Management Problem Managing football club facility can involve various issue and management problem. Here are some common challenges that may arise in the management of PDRM FC facility is first training item are in mess because they are is not in a storage space second there is no place to store player and official jersey there is also no suitable place to dry the jersey because they have to dry the player clothes on the side of the hostel balcony three bad field surface and field grass that is not in good and safe condition for player to train and four not enough staff to monitor and supervise the facility regularly Okay. So kalau orang dapat lihat so, Ini adalah tempat Tak boleh guna player yang basuh bagi lima baju kan Sebab tak kasut tak apa lepas training atau kan So kalau orang dapat tengok dekat sini Dalam bangunan sepanjang Bagi bangunan ni okay. uh, Katanya Ada perancangan untuk buatkan Jadi asrama eh? Untuk jadi asrama player untuk uh, Ada latihan ke apa tak perlu lah player nak lari Jauh ke apa kan jadi Kerja dalam perancangan untuk sama. Recommendation and Solution 
in address the issue in football club facility there are some reclamation and solution first part prioritize maintenance second financial planning third collaborate with expert for technology integration five professional staff training six long-term facility planning and seven continuous evolution conclusion as a conclusion pdrm fc is a great football club and has facilities that can be said to be almost complete the training area provided such as football field located in the middle of the city of kuala lumpur is very comfortable and is not exposed to outside interference because it is located inside the police training center pusat latihan polis pulapor which has strict controls for the procedures for leaving and entering the camp for the sport of football the football field is the main facility that will be used by football players therefore a good football field greatly affects the training and also the safety of the players the club has a very good field structure complete with lighting equipment such as spotlights also complete with other equipment such as goal posts and others this football field is also maintained very well every month to maintain good condition for training purposes and through preparation of the competition every sports organization must have the responsibility to properly care for and protect its assets and resources including money equipment facilities and intangible properties such as data corporate image and marketing rights mana boleh berserah mana boleh mengalah mana boleh berserah mana boleh mengalah keras semua unit Rendezvous bertemu di markas sulit Kita senangkan semua kes rumit Buka hal baru yang dah tutup tak payah nak ungkit Aman kami mengalir dari atas bukit Hati sama merah jangan tengok warna kulit Kalau baru nak insaf sorry bro it is too late Udah nakal baru nak nangis lepas kena cubit Kami sebab anak bangsa tidur nyenyak Tidur kami pula tak lena tak kerap Garuda gerak senyap hari mau jalan tegak Tiap hari semua keluar berentap Nak buat Bonar jangan malu jangan sipu simpang jalan ada kanan kiri jangan keliru masuk bilik itu mana ada pintu setahun sekali jamal lemang bersama yang di ada yang kita lepas ada yang kita simpan